It was the night before Christmas in the author of the house. Now a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung with the chimney will care that hopes the same Nicholas soon will be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds of our vigents with sugar plums danced in their heads. And the lion are crutching, and I and my cap, and just settled down my long adventure's nap. Without an alarm, with all such clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Onto the window, and what a flash! Twin opened the shutter, threw up the shades. The moon on the breast of a new fallen snow gave the wester of midday to all just below. When watch when my wondering eyes should appear for a miniature sweat, and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver, so I ran quick. I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. My record in e- eagle, for sure as they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer, and Vixen, Uncomet, Uncupid. And Donner and Blitzen to the top of the port, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wet hurricane fly, when they meet the docks, go mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the coursers they flew with the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too, and in a t- t- twinkling, a herd on the roof. The prancing and pulling of each little hoof. I drew in my head and was turning around. Down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bell. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot. His clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys, his foot on his back. He looked like the peddler just opening his pack. His eyes held I twinkled. His dimples so merry, his teeth were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and of his beard and his chin was the widest of the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke in it circled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face. And a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. It was chubby and plump, a white jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. Wink of his eye and in the twist of his head. So it gave me to know I have nothing to dread. He spoke now a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stocking. Then turned with a jerk. And lay his fingers aside of his lips, and give it a nod up the chimney of rose. He sprang to his sway, to his tink, and give a whistle, and the way they all flew, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him in his claim as he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Merry Christmas from Reese Per December 2017.